Okay, so in this particular video we're going to be looking at the uh, answer sheet which is uh, the highest common factor, lowest common multiple and product of primes. Now what you will notice, this is a non-calculator. Um, this is purely answers, so um, I'm going to be using the factor tree method throughout most of these. And if you're a little unsure about that, then please do have a look at the YouTube videos and that will give you a lot more information. Okay, so on to the first question, which is to write 140 as the product of its prime factors. So I'm going to use a factor tree for that and what I'm going to say is this is 140. I've got two factors that I can use which is 2 and 70. 2 is okay for me, 70 isn't, so I'm going to make it 7 and 10. Um, 7 is okay because it's a prime number, 10 isn't, so I'm going to make that 2 and 5. So 2 is okay, 5 is okay. So as a product of its prime factors, I can write 140 equals 2 times 2 times 5 times 7. And just to be aware with this is that it is a two mark question, so just always please do check through your working. And also it's just much more helpful if you can write things in ascending order. Okay, so the next question is a little bit uh, trickier, only because it's 720, so it's quite a big number to deal with. However, the principle is exactly the same. So what we're going to say is 720, well, two numbers that multiply together to make 720 would be 8 and 90, neither of which is a prime number, so I have to go then to the next level. Well, 8, I've got 2 and 4, 2 is okay, 4 isn't. So 2 and 2, that's OK. So that deals with that side. With the 90, I've got um, 9 and 10, neither of which are good for me. 9, however, can be 3 and 3, and 10 can be uh, 2 and 5. And that's absolutely fine. And then I'd simply uh, write that out. Now, just be a little bit careful with this just to make sure that you've got the correct number of numbers. I generally put a dot underneath, it just makes it much easier for me. So I know that 720 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 times 2 uh, times 3 times 3 times 5. Again, it is a two mark question, so be very, very careful that you get your full two marks. Okay, so on to the next question, and that's going to be slightly different because in this particular one, we need to work out. Um, after a while, the highest common factor of 60 and 96 and the lowest common multiple. So we're going to come to that, but first it just asked us to express the following numbers as products of their prime factors. So we're going to do the same as we've done before. I've got 60, which is 3 and 20. 3 is okay, 20 isn't. I'm going to make that 4 and 5. 5 is, 4 isn't, so 2 and 2. OK, so again, in ascending order, I can write down that 60 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. It's very important to keep these things in ascending order, and you'll see why in part B of this particular question. OK, so on to uh, 96. I'm just going to move that up ever so slightly. On to 96, and that's going to be um, 8 and 12. Uh, 8 I can't, but 2 and 4. 2 is OK. 2 and 2, OK, and then 12, I've got 3, which is OK, and 4, 2 and 2, OK. Again, you've got quite a lot of 2s in here, put a dot underneath just to check that you've got the right amount, so that's going to be 5 2s, so 96 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and then you've got a 3 in there. OK, and you could actually just use mental arithmetic and check that that was OK. And then on to the reason why we do it in this particular way, where we've got these two questions, find the highest common factor of 60 and 96, and then find the lowest common multiple. Well, what I'm going to do is, firstly, I'm going to write out what I wrote before as the answer. So 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, and then 96 is 2 times 2 times 2, times 2, times 3. And what you'll notice is I've put them uh, so that the numbers are one above the other in each case. The reason I've done that just makes it a little bit easier to see that if I want the highest common factor now, I've got 2's are common, 2's are common again, 
and 3 is common over there. So the highest common factor will be 2 times 2 times 3. So the highest common factor is going to be 12. So the HCF of 60 and 96 equals 12. And that's the method we're going to be using all the way through all of these, uh, these answer papers. There are other methods. And again, if you go to YouTube, have a look at my channel. There is a different way using short division that you could use if you wanted to. But this particular one makes it kind of easy because the LCM basically is 12, which is the HCF multiplied by whatever's left. So in this case it's 12 times 2 times 2 times 5. Whack that into your calculation and that will give you 480. So the LCM equals 480. Okay, so on to the next question. And the next question now has been written slightly differently because what it does is it asks you to work out the powers of the prime factors. Okay powers of the prime factors well pretty much the same let's just ignore that powers bit for the moment and i'm just going to express it as a product of the prime factor so i've got 120 is 3 and 40 okay and with the 40 i've got 4 and 10 2 and 2 uh, 2 and 5. And apologies I'm going a little bit fast on this, there's quite a lot to get through on this particular one, um, so if you do need to slow the video down then please do. But basically the product means all the numbers multiply together and I know I've got three twos multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 and when it talks about powers all it means is, is convert these into Power. So what we can say is 120 equals 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. Now do bear in mind that 3 and 5 there are effectively 3 to the power of 1 and 5 to the power of 1. So therefore we need to now find the lowest common multiple of 120 and 150. Well we found uh, the prime factors of 120 so we need to do the same with 150. And with 150 I've got 3 and 50, 3 is okay, 50 isn't, but I do know it's 2 and 25, that's okay, and 5 and 5, alright. So I'm going to do the same method as I did before, is that I'm going to write the 2 together. So I've got 120, which we got from the top, is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Not a good idea to write it as powers, it just makes it a bit more complicated. Just write it out longhand, it's much, much easier to do it this way. So 150 then, we know from the calculation we've got there, which is 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. So I'm going to look for firstly the HCF, and the HCF is going to be uh, two 2's there, a 3 there, and a 5 there. I hope this is coming out okay on the video, but I've got 2 times 3 times 5, so that's going to give me a HCF of 30. And then the LCM is basically 30 multiplied by what's left, which is 2, 2 and 5, so times 2, times 2, times 5. So therefore the LCM if you calculate all of that out, that will give you 600. OK, so it takes a little bit of time to work through these kind of questions, but they're not too bad once you get into the routine of doing it like this. So uh, question five is very much the same. And again, I'm going to whiz through this as quick as I can. So I've got 108. Now I know and if you're in any doubt, sometimes just dividing it by two or three will work exactly fine for you. So I've got two there. Uh, 6 and 9, neither of which is 2 and 3, that's okay. And then I've got 3 and 3, that's fine. So I can write now uh, 108 out longhand is 108 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. So therefore, to write it out as powers, and do be careful about the kind of wording of these type of questions, you can get a bit mechanic about doing these sorts of questions, or mechanical, so just make sure that you check every time what it is they're asking you to do. So 108, and that equals 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3, and that will get you your full two marks. No, three marks on that particular question. Okay, so we're going to work out for the additional mark, the HCF 
of 108 and 24. Well, we've got the factors of uh, 108, so 24 is going to be 2 and 12, and that's going to be 3, 4, and that's going to be 2 and 2. So again, exactly as we've done it before, we're going to say 24 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, and uh, 108 is going to be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 okay make sure that we've got the common ones so 2 2 and 3 in there so the HCF is going to be 2 times 2 times 3 which is going to be 12 okay so the HCF equals 12 alrighty so that'll give you one mark okay so this is the final bit of this type of uh, question and then I'm going to break the video um, and then we'll go on to the second video that will give you a little bit more information towards the end of these question papers okay so this particular one this is going to be question six alrighty and with question six we're going to work out the highest common factor of HCF of 24 and 64 well I guess you uh, you know the routine now that we've got to work out 24 I think we did that before so we've got 2 and 12 we've got 3 and 4 uh, so 2 3 and 2 of those okay and then we've got 64 well that's going to be 8 and 8 so that's going to be 2 and 4 2 and 2 and then we're going to have the same on this side. So this is where we've got to be a little bit careful because we're going to get a whole load of twos to play with on this particular one. Okay, so let's just do 24 first. So 24 equals uh, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And then 64, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, lots of 2s. Okay, so just be very careful when you're writing all of this out and make sure you keep checking every single time. So that's 4, 5, 6. Okay, so therefore the highest common factor is going to be the 2s that are in common. There's 1, 2, 3. Okay, uh, so therefore it's 2 times 2 times 2 is the highest common factor is 8. So the HCF of 64 and 24 equals 8. Okay, on to the second part of the question. Well, we've done most of it anyway. The LCM now is going to be the HCF. So the LCM equals the HCF, which is 8, multiplied by whatever's left. Well, we've got three lots of 2s there and a 3 there. So it's going to be um, 8 multiplied by 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Um, and that will work out 192. So the LCM equals 192. OK, last question in this particular uh, video is going to be uh, very, very similar in the way that you do it. So again, we've got 75, a little bit easier to do 75. So that's going to be uh, 3 and 25. And that's going to be 5 and 5. OK. And then we're going to be looking at 90. Uh, so that's going to be, we'll just do 9 and 10. Can't do that. 3 and 3, that's okay. And then we've got 2 and 5. All right, so write those out. And again, neatness is a great way of making sure that you've got this absolutely right. So we've got 75 equals 3 times 5 times 5. And then we've got 90 equals... Um, 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 okay look for the common factors so that's going to be the two threes there and those two fives okay so therefore the HCF is going to be 3 times 5 which equals 15 so the HCF equals 15 okay i hope that's all right for you and then on to the final question which is the lowest common multiple of 75 and 90 well the lowest common multiple equals the hcf which is 15 multiplied by what's left which is going to be 2 and 3 and 5 so 2 and 3 and 5 Whack all those together and you're going to get 450. So the LCM equals 450 
for that one. Okay, so that's been a 14 minute video, 15 minute video. Um, I hope it's been okay for you. Uh, please do have a look at uh, the next video, which will give you the answers from question eight onwards. Uh, they are slightly different, but uh, generally using the same principle. Please do uh, subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you very soon.